Hey everyone, welcome to my Roaring Heights review. Today, obviously, like I just said, we're going to be going over the Roaring Heights world. Now, let's go ahead and go through the little description here. It says, Welcome to a city where bold shapes, rich colors, and lavish looks rule the skyline. The residents of Roaring Heights are living in the fast lane in this booming place filled with striking skyscrapers and bustling beaches. Whether you're content to hang out on the piers, work your way to the top, or host glamorous parties at home, there's a place for every lifestyle in Roaring Heights. With endless opportunities at your front door, which new life will you choose in Roaring Heights? Okay. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to start a brand new family in Roaring Heights. And I will pick up with that in just a second. All right, here we are flying through over Roaring Heights, this beautiful like art deco-y town. Now, when I think of Roaring Heights, I think of the Roaring Twenties. And if you've looked at any of the stuff from this world, you would probably agree that it screams the Twenties. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, just kind of skim around, get a sense for what the world is like. Looks like there's a few long islands here. And uh, it it's very much feels like a New York, New Jersey type setup, I guess, with there being so much water around it. I'm going to apologize. I still am sick and I can't do anything about it. So anyway. Um, let's go ahead and jump into create a household so that we can go ahead and take a peek at all of the wonderful clothing and whatnot that came with. All right, so here we are with our first Sim in Roaring Heights, and I have created Jerry Primley. I always randomize the name in case you are new to my reviews. Always randomize the name, and um, I usually randomize the face with maybe a tweak here or there. Okay, so... The first outfit I am going to show you is going to be this one that's popping up here in just a second. It is interesting, just you wait and see. There, didn't I tell you? Isn't that cute? I especially love it with these shoes. <laughs> okay, so this is the first outfit that comes with this set. It's called Everyday Turtleneck. Yeah, about that. Okay. Next up, we've got a suit, and there's a few options with this one. This is called the reserved suit, and uh, it's not bad. Again, the pants are kind of high, but I think that may be kind of the era they were going for. So it comes in a few different colors, as you can see here. Again, I'm not keeping these shoes. I need to really point that out. <laughs> So this is our next outfit, which actually I kind of like. This is the spiffy sweater vest. And uh, it's very Mr. Rogers, but I think it's cute. And uh, he'll probably end up wearing this. Now, if you got just the standard version, that is all the clothing that you got. Actually, no. There's also a swimsuit, but I'll show that at the end. So that's all the clothing you got, except for the swim trunks for the men. Now, if you got the gold version for for uh, $35, I believe it was, you also received a set called Boardwalk Attire. And now, those items are these. We first got this full outfit. Um, looks like he's getting ready to do maintenance on something. I don't know. And then we also have this one. This has a crossover into the Elders. And uh, it's all right, I guess. For a themed era type art art deco yeah all right so that swim trunks before I forget let me show you those I have those here at the end and uh, those are not it these are the swim trunks um, who wears short shorts let me tell you what but uh, yeah aren't they cute they look like knit swim trunks yeah this would be coming with your standard version it just looks ridiculous Miley Cyrus, just get, move over, because he is taking the center stage now. Okay, so there is also one hairstyle, which I will show you here really quick. It is a hair with accessory, and uh, let me find it real quick. Okay, so here is that hat. It's called the Fine Fedora. Really, really roaring 20s type feel to it. Um... 
I feel like we have a lot of those, though. Like, look, we've got... I mean, if you have a lot of store content, you just have a lot of these different little hats, and it's just like, okay, well, how many different styles of fedora and top hat and newspaper boy type hat? Yeah, how many of these do we really need? I mean, honestly, I mean, even in the base content, you have a lot of hats. You have a lot of weirdness. Um, but yeah, so that is it for the men as far as clothing with your standard version goes, clothing with your um, gold version boardwalk attire goes, and uh, let's go ahead and move on to the women. All right, so here we are with the female outfits and hairstyles. So just like I did with Jerry, I created uh, this sim, Lydia Primley. It's going to be his wife. And uh, we're going to just go ahead and start off with the outfits that come with the regular standard version and obviously the gold. The first being this little cute sailor-esque outfit. I think it's really cute, actually. There's a few different styles. Love that on her. Love that on her. It's just it's really cute. I really like it. Um, the next outfit we have is this little yellow dress, and uh, the bow is a bit obnoxious, but, you know, it really fits that era, the, the 20s, the Art Deco-y type style. Um, it comes in this pattern as well, which I actually like a lot better than the yellow, and it looks great on her complexion and hair color, with her hair color. Um, let's see here. This next one is this little kind of like a pantsuit, but it's not a pantsuit. Um, it's cute. I actually like this as well. That I don't like, although it does kind of look like scrubs. I just don't care for it. But the other ones I like. Ugh, this one I do not like. <laughs> okay, so the next outfit is this, this one. And this is actually from the Boardwalk Attire. Now, before I forget, there were two outfits, two full-length gowns. I could not find. I'm assuming that they must just be in the formal wear. So I will actually, let's just, we'll jump to that and see if they're there. All right, so my thoughts were right. Everything that I could not find was in formal wear. So this is, this dress here that you see is one of two that I could not find. This is the glamorous evening gown. And uh, it's not bad. It's a little, um, I don't know I like the back the back is really pretty definitely has that art deco type structural feel and then the other is this next one here which you can actually see right here as well and uh, that is the let's see elegant evening gown and uh, I think with no pattern this would be much much nicer or with a different pattern altogether but I do love the structure of the dress I like this one again kind of has that structural feel with the I can't think of what that's called right now, and with the nice scoop back. I don't know. It's not bad. Not bad at all. All right, let's head on back over to the boardwalk attire. Okay, so back to this boardwalk attire. This is one of two dresses that came with for the boardwalk attire. Well, outfits. Um, this has two different patterns, this one and the more bold version. The second is this top and shirt, skirt, and that is also an outfit. It's cute. I like this one. Um, second pattern is this, which is a little bit strange, but you know, it's cute nonetheless. So before I forget, we have the swimsuits for the women, and uh, there's a few different variations of this swimsuit that you see right here. So there's this cute little aqua variation, and then we've got the red, white, and blue, which is really cute. We've got the blue and white yellow and white which is also very cute and the more white and blue so yeah so that is everything for clothing let's go ahead and check out the hairstyles for the hairstyles for the women we've got I think it was five different hairstyles two with accessories three without let me show you the first now these hairstyles are very pretty they're very detailed and just I, I really like them so the first one is this one right here. I actually really like this. Very Chicago feel to it. Again, the 20s. Um, I think the suits are sim really nicely, but uh, let's go ahead and look at the next hairstyle, which is very similar in its own respects, just because of the curls. 
because as you can tell, it's actually an updo. Um, I really like this though too. It's, I don't know, I, I'm really liking the hairstyles that the Roaring Heights set, so not really a set, the Roaring Heights world offered us. Um, this next one is more like the first, but uh, I don't know, maybe a little bit more formal. See how it's more, um, it's tight, it's a little more off the face. I don't know, maybe this is more casual and the other one's more formal because it's more flowy and in the face, more sexy. <laughs> um, the next two are the ones with accessories as our sim freezes here for a second. There she goes, and there's the hairstyle with the first accessory. Um, I'm not a fan of this. I mean, no, no, there's really not anything about this that I like. I mean, the clip is nice, and it's nice straight on, but I don't like the side view at all on either side. Ugh, not a fan. And I'm not a fan of this last one either don't quite get it to be honest with you but maybe I'm missing something geez for a second there I thought we were gonna freeze all together all right so that this I mm, no no thank you no um now there is one more thing as far as clothing and all that jazz goes pardon that little play on words there but uh, they I, oh why not hold on Okay, so this is the final clothing or create a sim item that I have to show and it's this little onesie for toddlers and the second variation is this one more of a sporty one which is really cute actually. Um, the little bib is a nice touch. I don't know. Um, I don't really see how it completely fits in with this set but I'll take it. It's something for toddlers. We don't get a whole lot of that. Um, but that's literally it for the Create a Sim items. There is a crossover with everything pretty much into the Elder. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna just go ahead and complete this family out. I don't think we're gonna keep a child though. And uh, next time we'll pick up with the Build By Overview and Review. So till we play next time, live, breathe, love, and play The Sims. Bye guys.